In our morning rounds, heartburn drugs that may harm your heart. A large new study by Stanford researchers shows a link between some popular antacids and your risk for a heart attack. 21 million Americans take these drugs. Our Dr. Tara Narula is a cardiologist at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York. Good morning to you. Good morning. I can imagine the people who are on the drugs this morning going, what? <laughs> I know. A, a, a connection between my stomach and my heart? Exactly. How? So th these drugs are very common. One in 14 Americans take them. We're talking about proton pump inhibitors, so drugs you might know as Nexium, Prilosec, mm -hmm. Protonics. Many are sold over the counter. They work to decrease the acid production in the stomach and are used to treat disorders like GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease, ulcers, or esophageal inflammation. And in this study, what researchers did was use a novel technique to basically mine tons and tons of data and look for trends that might not have been picked up. Mm -hmm. So they followed or looked at essentially 3 million patients, 300,000 of which had GERD. And then they looked to see who had been on a PPI, a proton pump inhibitor, and who had a heart attack and was there a link. And they did in, find, in fact find that there was a 16 to 21 percent increased risk of heart attack in those patients who had reported using a PPI. They did not see that link when patients used older forms of antacids called H2 blockers, which you might know as Tagamet, Zantac, or Pepsid. Uh, additionally, they did another study where they looked at 1,500 patients who went to the hospital for a heart procedure uh, with chest pain and shortness of breath, followed them for five years, and again, those patients who were on a PPI were at a two times increased risk of a major adverse So therefore. Event. So therefore, this is not, this does not prove cause and effect. That's a really important point for people to understand. This is an association that we see a signal that we need to do further research on for sure. But this does not mean stop taking your medication at all. This is hypothesis generating. The other limitations of this study are that we don't know if the patients who were on PPIs were sicker. Were they more overweight? Did they smoke or drink alcohol? Have other conditions that put them at increased risk. And finally, a lot of times patients come to their doctors complaining of chest pain and they're treated with a proton pump inhibitor, but maybe their chest pain was cardiac all along. And so we're, you know, they were misdiagnosed. Mm -hmm. and so we reached out to several of these companies that mm -hmm. make the PPIs, and we heard back from a trade group representing the over-the-counter version of drugs. They told us that the PPIs provide, quote, an important health benefit to consumers and direct cost savings for the healthcare system. I guess it just raises the question, how could your stomach drug raise your heart attack risk? Right, so it's an unknown mechanism, but researchers in 2013 did find a potential mechanism on a molecular level with PPIs can decrease not nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is associated with the health of the blood vessels. And if you have lower levels, you can have increased clotting and inflammation in those blood vessels, and they may not dilate or function normally. And if you're on the drug, maybe you ought to talk to your doctor first. Absolutely, yeah. talk to your doctor, yeah. see what your risk is, see if there's other alternatives like H2 blockers, uh, and basically see if you really need to be on it. Lots of people don't even know why they're on certain medications and whether they can potentially come off them. All right, thank, thank you. you, Dr. Karen Arilla.